Please walk it back. Widen up those feet. You're going to hold this low squat. Left hand stays down, right comes up. Lengthen out those legs. Drop your butt. Switch sides. Lengthen. Drop your butt. Hands down. Walk it out. Hold plank. Right hand in the middle. Rotate. Left hand. Rotate. Back to center. Walk it in. Low squat. Hold your low squat. Left hand down. Right hand up. Lengthen out those legs. Drop the booty. Switch sides. Lengthen. Right here, bend those knees. Walk it out, girls. Hold plank. Right hand in the middle. Rotate big. Hold it. And switch. Back to center. Last time, walk it back. Left hand down, right up. Lengthen. Drop. Switch. Lengthen. Drop. Walk it out. Hold the plank. Hold the plank. Hi, Gina. <laughs> right hand middle, rotate. And switch it. And back to center. From here, sit. Slowly round. Roll it up to the top. Take a huge shoulder roll. Big arms up. Round. Again, come forward. Reach tall. Open. Last time, reach. Open. Bring it down. And take a shoulder roll. Outstanding. Couple leg swings here. Bring the right knee in. Take it back. Bring it in. Take it back. Set those arms. Pump. Pump. Ooh. Seems like the six million dollar man and the bionic woman, right? Remember those shows? Ooh. One more. And release. Switch sides. So think about it. If you had something bionic, what would you want? I don't think I'd want the hearing because I don't think I really want to know what people are saying. Maybe, no, I don't care if I could jump. Hmm, I don't know what I would want. How about an ageless bionic woman, right? One more, forward and back and loose. All right, team, let's get ready to rock and roll. We are going to start out with a sumo squat with an upright rub. So most of these moves are compound moves. So we're going to be putting multiple muscle groups in because, again, shorter on time and we don't have those heavy, heavy dumbbells to be able to isolate. So therefore, a way to make it more challenging is to add um, those multi-muscle groups together and therefore have a compound move, okay? So, Get your dumbbells. I'm going to turn those toes out. Remember, we want the knees to track out over the toes. You have 90 seconds worth. And go. Come down for two. And then I want you to lift for two, bringing those elbows up high. So you want a big high row. And as we do that, let's open up that chest, okay? So two down, two up. When you come up, give that booty a big squeeze. Switch this up. On this next time, ready? Three down. One, two, tap, lift up on four. Down, two, tap, and lift. So we want that tempo just to switch it up. One more. Take it super slow down. Two, three, four. Hold, lift, two, three, squeeze. Down, two, three, Four, lift, two, three, and squeeze. Down, two, three, four, lift, two, three, squeeze. Come all the way down to the bottom, hang out, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders back and down. Two, one, come up, squeeze, go back down, four. 
three, two, up and squeeze. Back down, two pulses, lift and squeeze. One more, two pulses, lift and squeeze. Get rid of it. That's your first 90, team. First 90, 15 seconds. Here's your next move. We need two dumbbells. Narrow squat, bicep curl, overhead press. Two dumbbells. Every pair of 12. Ready? And go. So narrow. I want you to come down for a narrow squat with a suitcase. Curl, press, back down. Now here's the key here. Careful not to pick up the pace so much that you turn this into a heart pumping cardio move. Sit as low as you can, curl and drive. Sit, curl, drive, excellent. 30 seconds in girls. Sit, curl, drive. Now we do isolate the biceps later. So think legs, curl, and now you go into those shoulders. You're one minute in. 30 seconds to go. Now, Mindful because those last 30, you want to get that point where you definitely feel the effort increase, okay? You might find yourself slowing down, or you might find yourself saying, hey, I can lift heavier. One more rep. Woo, put it down, team. Put them down. Next move. We're going to go on to chest. We're going to lay down on the floor. We start with push ups first. Now, yes, we're going to do them for 90 seconds, but we're going to do them in fives. Take a break. Fives. Take a break. So, knees or toes. Five seconds. I'm sorry, five push ups. Take a break because we're going to do it all the way through 90. If you can do all of them through 90, go for it. Ready? And then we go one, two, one, two, here we go. Five push ups. Take a break, sit back. Come back. Five push ups. Sit back. You may be faster than me. That's okay. We're not looking for speed. Five push ups. So sit back. I'm trying to fatigue the chest a little bit more. Come on back before we go into presses. That is my plan. Three, four, Five, sit. You have 30 seconds to go. Come on, girls. Now, by all means, it could be just two push ups for you in a break, and that's okay. Form first. Woo! Sit back. Come on back out. Five, go. Five, four, three. Two, and one. Sit back, child's pose. Excellent job, guys. And come on. If you could do all 90 seconds, good for you. I need those breaks. You're gonna go to chest. So you're gonna chest press, but at the top, we're gonna turn our pinkies and tap them. So let me show you one. Whatever you have heavy, I have 15 with that 90 second commitment. So it's going to look like this elbows down, forward of the shoulders. I'm going to come up, press, and turn, and back down. So press, squeeze. Now I'm not just going to 
turn, I'm gonna put them together and squeeze my chest, okay? That is the magic. Try one and then put them together and squeeze. So if you don't squeeze, you won't feel it. So you gotta squeeze, ready? 90 seconds work. Feel free to go on a bridge if you want to. So I want you to come down to open up your chest, up to, turn and squeeze, back down. Remember, that magic is that squeeze in the center. So mindful of that muscle group. It's like giving a little bear hug, tapping those dumbbells. Lift, bear hug, squeeze your pec muscles together really a lot at the top of the range, okay? Squeeze. You will feel this tomorrow if you're mindful of that connection. Squeeze. Now, I only have 15 or 20. 20 is a little much, and I only have little kettlebells for 90 seconds. So I'm doing what I have. I'm mindful of that squeeze. 35 seconds. Squeeze. Now, stay at the bottom range. Tap. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Hold the squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Open. Tap. Four, three, two. Little babies. One. Come up. Hold the squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Two babies. One, two. Lift and hold. One, two. Again. One, Two, squeeze and hold. One, two, release, roll it up. So the key with that was that I'm sitting there and I'm squeezing mindfully right here in towards the sternum and those pecs. All right, bring yourself back up, my team. Bring yourself back up. You have a quarter stance deadlift. What does that mean? You've seen it a million times. I'm going to call it a couple things, but it's kind of a kickstand. It's not all the way back or single leg. And I'm going to hinge forward. The leg in the front is where I feel the work of the hamstring and butt. Let's start with that. Whatever heavy you have, grab that bad boy or two. Ready? We're going to start out with the quarter stance deadlift. Ready? And go. So hinge forward two and come up two. Squeeze your butt at the top. So it's down, squeeze your butt right here. When you come up, do not raise that. Squeeze, down, two, lift, and squeeze. You do have that option to do your single leg deadlift if you want. So I could lift right here if I wanted to challenge my balance more, but I'm really just trying to focus right here. And if I do this the right way, squeezing as I come up, I will feel it. Squeeze your butt. Good. Lift and squeeze. What am I looking for? Nice, long spine. The opposite of that is this. Okay? So push that booty to the back of the room. Spine is nice and long. Your neck is an extension of that. Tip, squeeze up. 30 seconds to go. Come to the top with the intention to squeeze your butt. Working right here, girls. And Tom, if you're on. Come on. It is not fancy. It's not overcomplicated. But if you do it right, being mindful of the move, using the dumbbells that you have. I have one. You obviously could use two. Squeeze. Come down, hold, lift up slow. Four, three, two, squeeze your butt. Release. Give it a little shake, and we're going on to the other side. Kick stance, deadlift, ready? Reset it. And go. You're two down. Squeeze and lift. Two up. Now the next move, after we isolate these legs, we're gonna have a deadlift with a row. Squeeze your butt. So, again, bent leg, front leg is as straight as I can get it. Now I'm on that 
right side, that right butt cheek. Mindful of my squeeze when I come up. Now I have a mirror so I can see myself literally. Obviously I can feel it, but I can see it because before we used to be years ago, reps, 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 as fast as we can. Now the new buzz is mindful of that muscle group. Think about it, put your energy into it, and squeeze the heck out of it. Come on, squeeze your butt. Wazzy woozy. Ah, come on, keep going. You have 15 seconds. Two. Three, one more team, one more. And four. All right, next move. Two dumbbells. We're gonna go back to that pound pound move. So you're gonna do rows through the upper back. So you have a row, up, and deadlift. So now we have both legs down, we're gonna keep our focus on the butt and the hamstring. Grab two heavy dumbbells, whatever you have, for your deadlift, ready? With a row, dumbbells, hinge forward. When you come up, keep that hinge, sorry, with a row, all the way up. So you're down, come up, hold midway, row, lift, deadlift, come up midway, hold, row, all the way up, squeeze your butt, two down, up midway, row, extend and squeeze your butt, come on down. So sometimes it just takes that person that reminds you to squeeze your butt, right? Hinge forward, come up, hold, Row, lift. Now I want you to come down halfway. You're hinging forward. Let's just row. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up to your shoulder roll. Hinge forward. Go back. Six, five, four. Come on. Three, squeeze your shoulder blades. Two, one, stand. Hinge forward. Think about putting these dumbbells in your pockets. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Strong core always. Last time, come down. Four of them. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Shoulder roll. Put them down, team. Put them down. We are going on to triceps. So I just like to get those triceps again. Grab a quick drink. Probably something lighter. When I say lighter, maybe fives or threes. You're going to do a straight arm kick back. Now watch the minute to do that. I'm going to do this. I just do that to see you. So straight arm, hold, little squeeze, back and down. So it's gonna be a lift, little squeeze, back and down. Isolate you through my core. So I'm hinging or pulling my abs in. The opposite of that is this, loosey goosey. No loosey goosey. All right, team. I'm going five. We will have a tricep extension where you have that opportunity to go heavier. Are we ready? Let's do this. Here we go. So straight back, squeeze together, and down. It's straight, squeeze, down. Lift, squeeze, down. Lift, squeeze, bring it down. Lift it up, squeeze it. Come on down, excellent. Lift, squeeze, down. It's up quick, squeeze them together, bring them down. Squeeze, down, you're 30 seconds in. Squeeze, keep going. Show me what you got. Straight arm back, little squeeze, come in. Outstanding, Kim. There you go, Ange, yep. Give it a hold at the top, team. Good, Sarah, hold, squeeze. 
Bring it in, outstanding. You are 50 seconds in. Lift, squeeze, down. One more time, lift, squeeze, down. Bring the elbows up, bend, bend them right here, hold it, kick it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold them up, pulse them up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, bend, extend. Come on, home stretch right here. Three, two, and one. Come up, shoulder roll. Now guys, when you're doing those moves, if you start to feel pain in your neck and shoulders, by all means, take that little shoulder roll. You don't have to push through pain. You have to push through being uncomfortable. You have to push through your tricep going on tighter, but no pain. No, no pain, no gain is long gone, team. That means out. All right. I want you to grab a dumbbell for tricep extension, which is going to isolate those bad boys. And then I'm going to give you the option just to add a basic balance in there, okay? Balance is another component that you can add where you also can use one dumbbell or two. I think I'll use two to make it a 20. We'll see what we got from right here. Ready? Get those dumbbells. You can glue them together if you have two to make it heavier. Well, you take it two down and two up. Now, take a look. What are we looking for? We want those elbows in by our ears, not up here and not out here. Okay, so two down, two up. One more. Take it three. Now, I have the option to add that kickstand stance. Two, three, and lift. Sometimes I do this to help support my low back. Again, it's a personal preference, but it is an option. Come on, three down and drive it up. Three down and lift. One, two, three, drive. Down, two, three. Slow it down, two counts. Down two and lift two. Option to take a break, to add dumbbells lighter or heavier. We are one minute in, team. You're two down, two up. Woo, -wee. come on. One more, just like that. Hold at the top, hold. Three down, one, two, three, drive. One, two, three, drive it up. Down, two, three, and drive. One, two, three. Now again, say you only have five pound dumbbells and you want more of a challenge. You can add that balance move to it. Come on, fight to keep those elbows in. And stop. Woo. Hello. Ah, give those triceps a little stretch. No direct pressure on that elbow. I want to go above or below. Give a little stretch and switch. Whew. All right, team. Posing muscle group, biceps. So you have hammer curl, two dumbbells hammer, and then we're gonna come out wide. So it's a basic move and out wide. Now, put your mind into that muscle without even any dumbbells. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lower. You can work them just in your mind. Start with that. Pick them up. Now, when you isolate just a muscle group for a shorter period of time for rest, take two up here, then most times you can go heavier, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. In our situation, we don't have access to all the same weights and equipment, although Nicole has done a bang up job trying to help us get whatever we need, then we figure it out. So right now, my theory with this is time under tension, 90 seconds worth of work. 
We're on those tubes. Come on. You have to chew up. Squeeze it. One more for the two counts. Switch to the tempo. Three up. Let's go. One, two, three down quick. Lift, two, three down quick. Excellent. One, two, three down quick. One, two, squeeze and down. Lift, two, squeeze, down. Wow. One, two, squeeze, down. Lift, two, squeeze and down. Come on, guys. One, two, squeeze, down. We're almost there. Two. Excellent. One, two, three, squeeze. Lift, two, three. Last one right here. One, two, squeeze, down. Put it down. Evaluate. Right here, a little pressure on those fingertips. And outstanding. Roll those wrists around. Nice work, team. All right. Upper body takes a little bit of a break. We're going to work on the lower body. If you have a chair and you want it there for a little balance, feel free to use it. I always caution people. We're going to do a forward lunge, and I caution them because I worry about how they land with that front knee. Okay, so think about if you're landing. I don't want to just dig my heel in. I want to land with my whole foot planted. So I want to land, lunge, take a look at this, I power back. From there, I squeeze, squeeze, down, and up. So it's two butt squeezes. So I step forward for my lunge, come back, squeeze, squeeze. Now focus on not letting your low back hyperextend in your back. It's a butt. Squeeze my butt. It's little. Well, my butt's not little, but the squeeze is little. Ready? <laughs> Woohoo! If you can't crack yourself up, you can. Feel free to hold dumbbells if you want. I'm gonna maybe just throw in some eights, give it a whirl. If it ain't working for me today, then I just won't do it. All right, team. One side, let's step forward. You pick your leg, no matter where you go left. Step forward, lunge. Come back together. Squeeze, squeeze, put it down. Step your back. Little squeezes. Step your back. Little squeeze. Let's add two pulses in the front. You're here. It's one, two, power back. Squeeze, squeeze. Now remember, we have 90 seconds. Pulse, pulse, power, squeeze. Squeeze. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, power back, lift the leg, little squeeze. Excellent. Keeping the work out of our low back. It's a little lift. Squeeze my butt. Squeeze your butt. Now that drive back definitely takes some energy to do that drive. Go, pulse it. Why did I add that pulse? Well, I want to overload the quad a little more and I want to slow the pace down. So we weren't going back and forth quickly. Last time, two pulses. Two squeezes and stretch it out. Opposite side, option. Keep those dumbbells. Ready? And let's do it. Here we go, girls. Step forward. Big step. Pulse. Stick that landing. Squeeze. Squeeze. This is already my better side. Pulse it. Back. Squeeze. Squeeze. Remember, 90 seconds. So, we want that speed limit to be down. We don't want to hustle through like we only have eight reps, okay? Faster is not better, guys. Think quality over quantity. And that goes with so many things. Wouldn't you rather have yummy quality food that 
it some fabulous chef prepared for you instead of a bunch of just junk. Well, there are certain days I think our hormones are high enough to I'll take some junk. 30 seconds to go. You know, I was craving the other day those silly chocolate cake donuts that comes in a pack like you'd see at the gas station. When I was a kid, that was a treat. Just like a pack of, I don't know, six or eight. Step. I think Gina still has those at her house. Right, Gina? <laughs> you just need to clock <laughs> Squeeze and stop. Good. <sighs> All right, team, let's get ready. So let me just tell you something, funny story. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm human. Grab a quick drink. We're going to go on to. Uh, Shoulders, okay. So I'm just gonna add a little leg. So Sunday morning, I got up early and uh, before I go into my sore shoulders, you have a forward raise and a lateral raise, and it's 90 seconds. So I want you to think about that with your dumbbells. Probably five, eight. Again, you know you and what you got cooking there. We're first going to start out with, actually, I lied. Let's start out with slightly heavier, your two shoulder moves. I'm going to go pick up my eight. All it is, it's not the move you think either, Karen. It's a side raise, and it's a bring my pinkies or my knuckles in together, back and down. Now, the key with this is squeeze as I come in. I'm squeezing, and I'm dropping my shoulders. So I'm not here, and I'm not here. Cool? All right. So I want you to think Incredible Hulk when you squeeze in. Remember him? Here we go. Side raise. Squeeze together, back and down. It's a lift. Squeeze, back and down. So Sunday morning, I'm gonna pull the monica on you and tell you a story. I decided I would go to Mariano's nice and early, meet the crowd, and I did. And I made the fatal mistake, Gina and Karen, you know what I'm going to say. I walked by the pastry, the donuts, and they didn't have my favorite, which is chocolate cake. So my next favorite would be a glaze. And they only had, that weren't already boxed, was glaze, big braided twist. You know, those big twisty things. So I said, oh, okay. I'll have two, and my intention was squeeze here to bring them home, and I would have one squeeze, and I would give the other to Claire. Squeeze. Well, I had the one with coffee, and it was just fabulous, and I was happy. And then I thought, I really would like another little bite. Lift, squeeze, and down. We're almost there, team. Squeeze. So, I started out, I took Claire's shoulder out of the bag, hold it, squeeze out and down. You're done. Oh man. So I took Claire's shoulder out. I cut off a little quarter of it. Quickly realized that wasn't going to be enough. So I ate the whole damn thing and I never told her I bought her a donut. <laughs> so I ate both of them and then, like a Sad little teenager, I hid the bag at the bottom of the garbage so she couldn't ask me where the donut came from or who had it. Is that a bad mom story? All right, here's that other shoulder move. Forward raise, lateral down. I'm going to add a squat to that. Um, yeah, okay. You might want fibers or eight if those work for you. My shoulders are tired. So it's going to look like this. Uh, sorry, guys. Lateral arms. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Okay. All right. So come with me. I want you to go out lateral. Come in forward. Squat and lift. That was wrong. Do this this way. Here we go. Squat, 
pull them up, out, and down. There we go. Squat, lift, out, down. Squat, keep the arm shoulder height, out, down. Excellent. You're down. You're up. Now focus on that squeeze when you sit. Whew. After this, we are at the end when we start over. Yay! But we're gonna do it for shorter intervals. Ah. Now, what am I doing? My shoulders are fatigued, so I'm gonna go unilateral. Or my other option would be to switch out my weights. I come back together when I'm ready. Ah. Down, out. I'm gonna go back to unilateral because my other option is to switch. I don't wanna switch, but I have to do something. Last one. Get rid of them. Huh, we don't have time to go back to them again. <laughs> We're dead. All right, we're gonna go to F. Oh my goodness, okay. Light dumbbells. I'm gonna start you out with there's a couple moves. Both of them are gonna have a squat in them. So we're gonna go wide with your dumbbells and you're gonna sink in. We've done this before. Keep my wrist firm and I'm gonna tap back to center. We'll stay on the right side. Tap, center. Now tap with a purpose. What is that? Squeeze through the obliques. Squeeze through the obliques. Good. Squeeze. Now three taps. One. Two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Actually, you've got to go down to your side if you want. We'll hold it up if you want. One, two, three, lift. Down, two, three, and lift. Come up, shoulder roll. Bring both back, ready? 30 seconds, drop, opposite side. Squeeze and lift, squeeze. Now again, think about quality work. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to isolate right here. Well, I'm holding that squat, okay? Tap, three pulses, one, two, three, lift. Down, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Up. One, two. Five seconds. Come on. One, two, three. Up. Four. You may not feel that necessarily right now, but you will later. I would pick up a slightly heavier. You have one more move standing. It's kind of like a modified windmill, Turkish get up. We're still using those shoulders. I'm going to try these eight, so we'll see how that goes. So I don't have a sumo or a plie. Both toes are forward. So this is what it looks like. I want you to think right arm. Left arm's going to stay up hot, okay? Right arm, I'm going to squat. Oh, I can already tell it's too heavy. That's my bad side. I'm going to show you my good side. <laughs> How's that sound? Let's see. Okay. Right arm up, left arm. I want you to squat. You're going to turn in and lift. I'm going to turn in. Okay, I'm already not liking this. Stop. I think my problem is. I'm too tight right here and it just doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna just assume it doesn't feel good for you too. How's that sound? 
Come on down and off horse. Come on down and off horse. I want you to bird dog. So go ahead and extend the left leg. All right, instead of the right arm being forward, I want it behind your head, okay? So I want to turn in and open up. I want to turn in, lift and squeeze. So I want you to tap, lift and squeeze, tap. Now lift and squeeze. Come on, game. Tap it, lift and squeeze, tap. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Come on, put the belly button in. Five. Four. Three. Five. Two. Don't go anywhere. One. Shoot that arm out. Bring it in. Squeeze with the intention. Come on, squeeze. Lengthen. One, two, squeeze, out quick. One, two, squeeze, out quick. When you go out, hold, come in, hold. One more, don't go anywhere, hold it, circle and tap, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah, ah. Sit back and chat as opposed. Whew, did you feel a little burning butt cheek too? Come on up girls, let's switch sides. Because that's what we do. Ready? How does 45 minutes go so fast? Seriously. Okay, right leg's up this time. Left arm, here we go. Hand behind your head. You're gonna tap, lift with a squeeze. Can you bring that elbow back up shoulder height? Pull those abs in. And you probably feel your butt and the QL, you want to feel those lats. I have my right hand right under my shoulder. Squeeze and lift. Come on, don't go anywhere. Keep that back leg. Squeeze the glutes, keep it shoulder height if you can. Four more. It's four. It's three. Two. And one. Hold it. Extend that arm, pull it in, squeeze the full commitment. In. Really tell yourself, I'm not going through the motions. I'm going to feel this. If I'm going to be here, I'm going to feel it. Squeeze in, extend out. Squeeze in and out. Come on, you're spot on. Let's do this, team. Two more. One more. Don't go anywhere. Circle tap. Eight. Seven. Six. Can you keep that knee up hip height? Five. Four. Three. Ah. Two. You got it. You got it. One. Excellent. Sit back. Whoa. Wow. Sit back in that child's pose, guys. Man, I have to tell you what, these 45 minute classes, you got a moving groove to get it all in. And it just feels so good. Oh, come back up here and I'll force a little cat cow. So even though I can't see everyone like I do at the gym and chit chat, just having you here on the screen makes me work out, give whatever my best is today. 
And what's weird is I'm learning how to do this without music, but I can't lie. I'm ready to get my music back. One more game. Come back to neutral. Tuck those toes in. Bring yourself to a down dog. Press those heels to the floor. Sit hips up high. And just relax. So go ahead and just rock it out side to side. Really deliberate. Push that hip out. <sighs> One more each side. Hold it center, bend the knees, walk it back. Right here, right hand down, left hand. Go ahead and twist and lengthen right back to where we started, girls. Drop that booty, switch sides, twist, lengthen. <sighs> Drop that booty slowly from here. Let's just round it and roll it back up to the top. Being so ever grateful that we have this option to work out together. Lace those fingers behind your back. Push that chest forward. And release shoulder roll, team. And we are done. Give yourself a big round of.